Hi friends, let's build a similar or reverse image search engine. So the user upload an image, for example, we search for similar images within the repository and we return top n images to the user. Okay, uh, let's do a couple of more tests. Uh, for example, let's do this. All right. So here we are returning top five similar images. In this, we are using approximate nearest neighbor algorithm. So all five uh, hits might not look uh, the best hits. Okay. And also, we are searching within a repository, right? So the repository might have very similar images. Uh, for a given test image uh, or not okay all right uh, let's do one more test uh, maybe this one yellow all right okay all right let's go to the code okay the way we, it works is first we have a folder with all the images let's call it repository now this can be 100,000 images, 1 million images, it can be anything, okay? And we read all those images one by one. We create embeddings for each image and then we build this anai or it's called approximate nearest neighbors, okay? We build this index. The way it works is the algorithm it build a tree like structure where each node refers to an image or the embeddings and the neighbors surrounding that node are similar images or embeddings okay so when we search for a new image we will find out in this tree which node is the closest and then we knew uh, its neighbors are the nearest neighbors okay so here we read a test image and for the test image we create the embeddings and then we search through this anai index to find the nearest neighbors so that's the uh, procedure okay all right so gradio just for creating the web app uh, for reading the images pill uh, and more importantly here we are using this transformers uh, methods uh, or the functionality to create embeddings for the input images. So here we are using clip uh, model and also the preprocessor. And then this anai library for building the this anai or approximate nearest neighbor index. Okay. All right. So first, this is our embedding model and we preprocess the images. This is the preprocessor. Now uh, it is free. Uh, from hugging face okay and then we define two folders one the images folder where we have all our uh, images and then when we upload an image we want to store those images so here we are uh, storing uh, in this upload folder okay all right if these di directory don't exist just create the exit directory and upload all those images okay so i already have that folder uh, for example i'll show you images so this is my images folder which contain over uh, 1000 images all right all right so first let's define some uh, functions uh, which uh, uh, we are going to use so the first one is extract images embeddings okay so it simply takes this image path and read the image using the pill library okay and then first we process the image using the processor and then uh, we call the model uh, to get the embeddings which sometimes also referred to as features okay so we get these embeddings now this model the embedding size is 512 okay so we just convert it to numpy array so given an image path it will simply return uh, the embeddings array of size 512 okay so we just said that's our dimension and here we are initializing 
our uh, anai index so we just need to specify the dimension it's going to have which is 512 and then uh, just the image path so uh, we are going to uh, store the paths uh, to all our repository images so that when we find uh, similar images uh, we can return them back right? we can read and return them back right all right uh, just some print statement for debugging uh, don't worry so here we are reading uh, all the images from the folder okay so we are checking for file types jpg jpeg png bmp and we get the path of the image including the folder and we create the embeddings here okay using this function extract image embeddings okay so we got the embeddings and then we are adding these embeddings uh, to the uh, anai index okay and we are also collecting the paths okay so we have processed all these images and then uh, as i mentioned the way this algorithm works is it build these trees uh, somewhat similar to the random forest uh, type and here we define the number of trees uh, 100 is probably a bit too much maybe 10 uh, uh, also works uh, fine now this is where we are actually building uh, the index okay so here we have simply added the embeddings but here uh, all the magic happens so the nearest neighbor algorithms it process all those embeddings it find out uh, which embeddings are nearest to each other and it build a tree structure so that uh, when it needs to find similar images it can quickly return uh, uh, the nearest neighbors uh, even if it has a, a size of uh, uh, several hundreds of thousands or even million okay if you want uh, we can store this index uh, so that uh, we can uh, load it uh, elsewhere and uh, reuse it right it just like a machine learning model all right so here we have uh, the find similar uh, images function uh, again so this is going to be our test image image path and we want to return the top five images okay so again once we get the test image we create these embeddings uh, again just this print statement i was doing some debugging all right so the main function we are calling is this get nearest neighbors by vector okay so we are going to find uh, similar images uh, using this embedding vector uh, nearest neighbors okay so we just need to supply our test image embeddings uh, because this index is already built it already has the embeddings for all those uh, 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 repository images okay the number of matches uh, we just want five hits and we also wanted to include uh, the distance between our test image to all those five uh, similar images okay so we get the indices and the distances again uh, just some comment out okay so we are just from the indices we are collecting the actual image path right so here uh, we have uh, created this list where we stored all the image paths so from anai index we get the indices and using this paths list we are getting the actual image path for these five uh, top similar images okay and and the last function we are writing is this search similar images so as as you saw in the app we are uploading an image through gradio we save that image to a folder and then we read that image we create the embeddings for that image we do the similar t search etc right so this is that function a uh, uh, search similar images okay so here we have the uploaded image okay so we just uh, save it to this upload folder which we define here upload folder and here we are calling the find similar images uh, uh, simply by providing the upload images path okay all right so we get five similar images as i mentioned if the repository does not contain any similar images it still return the top five similar images okay so we process all those images one by one and we are adding uh, this to uh, this results and within the gradio uh, we are creating this ui interface uh, with simply takes this image as an input which is what 
uh, we provide and then uh, in the gallery uh, we are displaying those top five uh, images okay so that's all the code is uh, all right uh, let's do uh, maybe one more test all right okay looking good um yeah it's quite uh straightforward and easy um as i mentioned uh, this index it's approximate nearest neighbors it's not an exhaustive search now if we want there are only two hyperparameters the first one is the number of trees uh, which we define to be i believe 100 the number of trees and the second one is uh, the number of matches so as we increase the number of trees and number of matches the search somewhat becomes more exhaustive but the latency also increases significantly but it will find out all the nearest neighbors are the closest images so there is a trade-off between how accurate we want the results to be versus how fast we want the results now when we have a few thousand images uh, it's fine latency is not an issue but imagine we have a million images uh, their uh, latency matters right if we have a large number of trees and we are looking for large matches uh, it might take a while okay all right uh, that's all for this video thank you very much